Hello, and today we're going to look at insect survey methods, starting with active methods. Position your beet tray under some vegetation and start swinging. Proceed to check your tray for specimens and suck them up using a pooter. These may include flies, beetles, bugs, soakids and lacewings. And remember, don't choke. These are great, or you could use one of these. And next we move on to sweep netting. Push the net from side to side in a continuous motion. Then proceed to plug the net with your body to prevent specimens from escaping. This method is a lot of fun and is a great generalised method for many different taxa. The question is, has Chris caught anything? Unfortunately, not on this occasion. Don't forget to pooter up your specimens. Next, we will look at long-term survey methods. We'll start with pitfall traps. You need two cups, some washer fluid and some scissors. Begin by cutting the cup around the rim to ensure that it will fit within the other cup. I have to do a here's one I made earlier moment showing how it fits nicely within the other cup. Then proceed to pour a known amount of liquid into the cup to see how much you will need in the field. You are now in a position to set the trap. Start by digging a hole deep enough for the cup's rim to be just on the surface of the soil. Don't forget to test the hole with the cup regularly to check that it is a snug fit. Once the pit is ready, put the cup into the hole. Seal the cup up nicely with soil, ensuring a smooth entrance into the cup. Add the other cup that would hold the fluid. Ensure the rim is nicely packed all the way around once again. You can then proceed to add the washer fluid. It's important to note at this stage that if there are cats in the local area, you should not use this fluid. Instead, utilise propylene glycol, a non-toxic alternative to blue screen wash. Remember to place a suitable lid on your pitfall trap, ensuring rain cannot get in. And then cue epic music. The last method used is the malaise trap, which is used to target flying insects, including bees, wasps and flies. The workings of this trap will be demonstrated by fly cam. Fly heads down into the trap. It proceeds to hit an inner membrane, and as insects of this order tend to do, it flies upwards and into a collection tube. Thank you for watching Insect Surveying 101. Please subscribe, like, and guide me for what you'd like to see next.